also only $27 here at Dutch Hollow. You can also go in with a nice uh, natural finished press foundation, which you can even see here, we have an array of colors. I think for you and for myself, we go for the medium sunlight for our personal skin tone. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the best thing with Color Science products is that everything in here is top medical grade. It doesn't get much better with this. Each one works really great with each other for blendability purposes. And as well, this natural finish press foundation is going to be SPF 20 because everything is important when it comes to your SPF and your skincare. So with this, I'm only going to use this and you'll be very surprised how I use this. So I'm gonna get a little bit on here. I'm gonna kind of bounce the excess off. And honestly, I don't wanna get rid of that nice dewy hydration that we got going on. But if you do have those little spots and you want a little bit extra coverage for that, I would just say here, just kind of got lightly over it. And I actually don't use my press foundation all over my face. So if you've ever gotten this or are thinking about getting this, but you're worried that maybe that's gonna dry your skin tone out because maybe you have naturally drier skin, this is what's gonna be the trick for you. I just honestly focus, and I like to wipe the excess off because then we're actually gonna go in and kind of buff that out. So with that, and like I said, I like to press it into my skin to really get it in there, and then just give it a little bit of a light buff. And that's, that's it. For my press foundation, that's really all I like to go in is really just kind of conceal that jawline because if you do the, the whole face, you might get more of a drier finish than what you're actually looking for. So just an application tip for me and you. And with that, actually, we're gonna move on to the eyes. So we've already done the under eyes, we've already done that triangle because that natural lighting and shade and highlighting that we're looking for because there are different steps in contouring. With this, our total eye, we're gonna go ahead and use it as a primer on top of the eye. So when we apply our shadows, which is gonna be our balm sticks, we're gonna have that nice all day wear. It's not gonna go anywhere on us. If you're somebody who likes to just do a fresh face, something light, just you know, because you gotta wear something for work or because you're just going out and you're just running errands, you don't really need a full face. This is wonderful even just to do the total eye on top of your eyes because it's gonna make you look wide awake like you are ready for this day, even though we're all lying. Yeah. I like to blend it down to our waterline and then I like to blend it all the way up right underneath our brows because that's going to be a really great highlighting piece. Let's go ahead and finish up with the other eye here. Let's turn just a little bit more. Go ahead and close those eyes. And like I said, my application secret, I just tap everything out so I know exactly where everything's going. There's no way you can mess this up. right here in the center. Let's see if I can get you a little bit more to that water line. And go ahead, just pop your eyes open and look at that. Look how fresh face, she's ready to go. That's a wonderful eye opening look right there. So with that, I believe we're done with our total eye, which again, that's our powerhouse product here. That's a staple if you've been here before. I know you've seen me put it on you. So with our eyes, a really nice look I want to go for. So the most universal I would find for most women, they're probably going to want to start with that blush. It's a little bit on the larger side if you're a little bit more tentative and just want to start off with getting one stick at a time. We also sell them in a set of three, which is very, very affordable. With this though, with her and her skin tone, she's a little bit like me. We're still kind of fair skin, but with the color of our hair, the darkness of her hair, the color of our eyes, we're gonna go in with a nice berry as just a foundation for that eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna blend it out with another balm. So again, finger application is best for me.
And another thing that's really great about these balms is that you can play with them as far as the saturation that you're looking for. So you can always start off a little bit tentative, a little bit light, if you just wanna see, my goodness, what does this look on me even? And then if you like it, just start building it up. Go ahead and open your eye and see. That's beautiful. So let me take a second. I'm gonna let you see that. I did it very light, so you tell me do you like it that light? Ooh. Do you want to go a little bit more bold, a little bit more saturated? I like that. Okay. That's perfect. This is a pretty color. It's a beautiful color. So with that, I'm actually going to do something. I'm going to use this nice bronze color on top of it because it's going to make it a little bit of this shiny, almost like a coral orange. So with this, kind of mixing the two colors, you're gonna see, go ahead and close your eyes for me. I'm gonna carry this up on top here. It's gonna have, look at that, you can already see it. It's gonna have that really nice kind of ombre iridescent glow. So when you're out in the sunlight, that's gonna be a showstopper. Like that excess. And then while we have both of those products on, I like to go ahead and blend it all the way over. And I want to take a second here and show you, if anybody knows the eyebrow trick, this is the math beyond it. So you want to go to this nasal fold right here, and they're going to have, this is where the start of the brow is. Through that pupil right here, carrying that forward, that's your arch. And then right here, that's your tail. So when it comes to your eyeshadow, how far you take it out, that's how far it should be coming out if you want the most natural day-to-day -day wear. With that, let's go ahead and we're going to finish up that look on our other eye. You want to keep that corner nice and strong. I'm going to go in with that bronze and blend, maybe blend. I like to carry it up to this eyebrow here. I love that. Such a beautiful three dimensional color here. color already on you. Look at that. Okay. And because we have a little bit of the darker hair and everything, so we did go in previously with that blush, and that one's going to be more universal for a lot more skin tone colors, but for us, we're going to be a little bit dangerous today, and we're going to put another layer. We're going to try out that berry for a higher definition. So you can really see that I've used all three of these balms for all three purposes. Eyes, cheeks, lips. rounding that out because that's the fullness of the apples of the cheeks. All right, I'm going to hand this to you and just let you look at that see how we like that. It's a gorgeous color. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. 
And again, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, even if this looks like a darker color than you would even try. It's all about being tentative starting out and the buildability with this product. There's so much play in this. You'd be very surprised. nice circular motions to really excel and accentuate that natural God-given shape. Go ahead, take a look at that. Now our very last step is gonna be lips, but before I get to the lips, I'm actually gonna revisit a product that I've used all the way in the beginning to really show you the multi-purpose you can get out of every single product that's part of this color science line, including our brand new products here. So we're gonna go all the way back. Some forgettable Total Protection Face Shield, SPF 50, that glow edition. Everybody wants that because specifically it has that glow to it, it has a little bit of those nice kind of glittery crystals, very small, so again, you're not looking like you're walking out with a pound of glitter on your face, very important. So with that, we're actually gonna use it as a highlighter because when it comes to contouring, everyone's used to seeing the bronzers and defining the cheekbones, but a lot of times we forget, you wanna use the actual light of the highlighting purpose. So we're gonna go in above where we applied that blush right under that eye. Okay. All right. Personally for me, I love to do anything that's defining the brow, so I can even take that highlighter and just dot it right here above the brows. So when the light catches it, it's going to be phenomenal. So again, it's just another C, a natural shape that we are creating. And then small circles. So you can already see the apples of her cheeks that are that rosy, beautiful hue, but now we have that little bit of light on top of it that only further accentuates that. And then one last trick that we're gonna use with our Glow Edition SPF Sun Forgettable Face Shield. You've already seen me do it, the highlighter above the brow, because the brows are so very important. We're actually gonna do it right underneath them. So go ahead, close your eyes. right underneath them, right up to the brow line, right over here. I'm gonna blend that. So you can see, we already have so much dimension with the shade, the shade that we're doing, but adding the highlighter on top of that and blending that together, even more, it just finishes it out. Gloves. And a person, personal application tip again for me, get right here in the corners of your eyes. Because when you have a highlighter there, something that's a little bit lighter, what it's going to do is the light's going to catch that and the white of your eyes are going to look even more white. So again, you want to look like you're absolutely awake and none of us are. This is your trick. This is how you fool everyone. Go ahead and finish up with the other eye here, and then we're going to move on to lips, which will be our last step. Close those eyes for me. Right up to that brow line. You can carry. 
carry it out a little bit past the tails as well. You don't want to do that with any darker actual shade, but you can do that with a highlighter. Again, with this, we're blending up because we want the light on top. We'll drag one more time and we'll get right here. Another product that I absolutely stand by and love and everyone needs and it's regardless whether you decide to go out with a fresh face and brave that world clean or you want to go in with a nice dewy look or even more coverage if you're going out for a night of wear. This one is going to be our Color Science Hydra Hydrating Mist and this is wonderful. So with this, this is going to help seal the product in so that you can wear it all day long no matter what you're doing. So we're going to do a little bit of trick here. I'm going to do that. Keep your eyes closed one more time. Give it a second to just naturally dry on its own. And with your eyes closed, you can really see the definition of color, how we use that berry, how we came in with the bronze to kind of give it a nice coral look, and finally that highlighter definition at top. So it's a beautiful ombre iridescent. It's gonna sparkle and gleam with her natural eye color. And with that, it's gonna be our last step. And with her, we're gonna be a little bit bold. We're gonna go back in with that berry, because we ain't afraid. No fear here. <laughs> we love a good dark lip. Absolutely. Don't be afraid to stand out in the day. Just really take hold of it because every day is yours. Okay. If you like to use a lip liner, you can. With this, honestly, I find that I don't really need it. This product really is nice and kind of stays right in place as soon as you apply it. And again, you can see I'm being tentative. I know she wants that dark ruby red lip because she can absolutely carry it. But for those of you who don't feel that brave just yet, go in light and build it up play with new products. It's always fun. When we were young, that was the first thing we did with makeup. We didn't know what we were doing. We just had to play and figure out our game. Mm -hmm. All right, so you can see right here how light that you can actually be with it. It's just one lip, but for her, I'm really going to layer it on here. Make it a strong look for today. It's really nice because we're defining that beautiful Cupid's bow, which is this natural V right here, that little mountain range that everyone has. Line it out, angle that out. saturation for her. Okay, well go ahead, rub your lips together for me. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is our final look. So thank you to Sydney for being my wonderful assistant today. And again, my name is Emily. You can join us here at Dutch Hollow Medical Day Spa to get all of your product, medical grade, color science, makeup that you need here. So again, thank you for joining us to our makeup tutorial. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.